Good evening and welcome to uh, the January 26, 2015 meeting of the Wakefield Board of Selectmen. I'll start by uh, approving the minutes from our last meeting. Uh, motion? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Moved by Betsy, second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. All right, minutes are approved. Uh, Steve, public participation? Uh, there is none. Nobody here? Okay. Um, first item is uh, forecast for fiscal year 2016. Uh, Steve, you're going to present uh, a PowerPoint for us. A very brief PowerPoint. <laughs> But anyways, every year when we start, we really like to really like to figure out where we are. Um, and I spend a lot of time uh, reading, talking to my colleagues, talking to uh, state uh, state reps, a state senator, talking to other um, town administrators and mayors and managers. Uh, Kevin and I talk, and then Kevin and I come to the budget two different ways. And if we figure out, if we kind of basically agree, we figure out that we're probably in, in the right ballpark. So just to give us a flavor as we go forward, I think uh, 2016 is going to be a challenging year. Um, challenging because of uh, some exogenous variables, what's happening with the state, what's happening with the uh, federal government as things trickle down. But I think we're in pretty solid shape right now as we go forward. So I'd like to talk about where we are um, through the great work of uh, this board, um, finance committee, and town meeting. Uh, we're in very good shape with our reserves. Our stabilization fund has uh, increased. Our free cash is in a, in a great level. Um, our water and sewer reserves are very good. And a few short years ago, this wasn't the case. Our overlay account is good. Our reserve fund, which is $300,000, we actually used $36,000 already this fiscal year as we had some issues that we did in the fall. Um, and our OPEB is close to $6 million. So really, when you look at all these things, um, we probably are, when you look at similar communities, we're in the top 2 or 3% as we look at how our reserves are. So then we kind of talk about our budget priorities. And these are really things that the board hey, Steve, has. Steve, was yes. our OPEB at zero three years ago? Uh, yeah, it was. Right? It's a three I mean, we've, been putting, uh, we've been fully right. funding the ARC, uh, the, what we are, our annual required contribution of about $1.8 million a year. And then when you it's, add in makes a big difference. the uh, interest, right. it's mm -hmm. about close to $6 million. And that's for people at uh, other post-employment right. benefits for town right. employees. In, in right. fact, if, uh, if you follow these uh, on the radio, I was uh, kind of driving home Sunday from the MMA convention and listening to a uh, financial show, which I'm sure made my wife very happy. <laughs> uh, but um, they were talking about AT&T. AT&T just took $8 billion of their revenue and put it into their pension fund. And OPEP is kind of the same thing. It's covering our health insurance for our retirees. Quite a move by AT&T. And, you know, we're required to do this at least uh, financially and by accounting practices uh, to at least put it on our balance sheet as far as OPEP. But we're actually doing it. And other communities aren't. Right. And we're funding our pensions. So we are really taking care of future generations that live in this town and work in this town. So it is, it is quite satisfying. And talking to members of this board, what are our priorities? And, I, and we go into this every year, public safety. Number one, a uh, lot of board members have said that's the number one item on our agenda is public sa safety. We've done a lot of talk about roads and sidewalks, and in fact, we have put extra money into roads and sidewalks. Drainage, one of Mr. Donaco's highest priorities. Um, we are actually doing a townwide drainage study that we've been funding that is almost completed or should be completed. And we're going to have to start addressing some of our drainage issues. And I think that is a priority we should look at. Building maintenance. We've talked a lot about building maintenance here. We are working with the school department to try to make that better. I know Phyllis has been very uh, outspoken on this issue, as other members of the board are. Business development. And I talk about creating our downtown, bringing our downtown up to snuff, um, and, and really working with the landowners, the property owners, the businesses to move that ahead. Uh, contracts. All of our uh, unions are up. And we have got to give um, competitive, um, prudent salaries mm -hmm. to everybody to keep and retain good personnel. And that's what makes uh, Wake feel great. And we are working on those. And I'm hopeful to bring all of them to town meeting uh, this May, <coughs> moving forward. Another big thing is recreation activities. And when we do do the recreation budget, uh, this has been in this town in the last few years. We did go out and hire last year. This board was great and allowed... Uh, allowed me to go forward and the Recreation Commission to go forward and, and hire who I think is a dynamite recreation director who has some great programs coming out. And he's going to talk to us about them at the next meeting. Absolutely fabulous for all walks of life, from really from cradle to later on in life. I'm very, very happy about that. 
So when we put our budget together, we talk about this, uh, we have one uh, budget policy, or our first budget policy is pretty simple. Develop balance, balance budgets in which current revenues equal or exceed current expenditures. Mm -hmm. Seems kind of simplistic, but when you really <laughs> think about it, it's, you know, you only want to spend what we can bring in. Um, uh, kind of a very simple uh, message, but you think about your kids and yourself sometimes in our households, you know, when we don't adhere to that, we can get into trouble. And this is going to be challenging to do uh, because of some, there are initiatives on and maybe we want to uh, work on those, but this is something that's in the back of our mind that we think about. We also have a policy for reserves. Um, we think that free cash should be around 8% of our operating revenue, a stabilization fund around 3% of our operating revenue, and we have hit those, we've hit those marks now. Reserve fund, about half a percent of operating revenue per year. When we put this policy together a few years ago, it even says in the policy it's going to take a, a years to get here. And, you know, together we got there a lot sooner. So I'm really very happy about that. Um, but we, we are now questioning and looking our, at our reserves, and I'm looking at them with the Finance Committee, to see what is an appropriate level of reserve and how are those are going to be stressed when factors hit us, you know, state aid comes down or what have you. So we're kind of going through some, some exercises. It's actually very exciting. And um, we'll go forward and see how we can really use that to move the town forward as well as protect ourselves. So revenues. Very quickly, how do we pay for what we're going to do? Well, <coughs> the, really, the only, money we, the only numbers we know up there for sure are the tax levy, which is a function of last year's times 2.5%. Um, state aid, I'm level funding state aid from last year. Nothing I heard at the MMA convention leads me to believe there'll be any more state aid. Nothing I heard leads me to believe there'll be any less. We really didn't hear too many specifics, and I think that uh, uh, Selectman Donaco and Selectman Santos, I think that you feel the same way. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, great commitment to local aid, but no one's giving us any specifics right now. School Business Association, School Building Association, excuse me, that number is fixed. That's the payment for the Woodville and the Dolbear schools. Galvin is done completely separate, so don't bring that in the picture, but that comes into our every, every year. Local receipts, excise taxes, but these are all the other permits and fees that we get. Excise taxes for cars, cars are really the vast majority of that. Um, that has been running higher than that number because of some one-time um, uh, revenues that we have been receiving. You know, you sell a school, you get some revenue. We uh, had um, some premiums on the bonds that we did for the uh, Galvin, and we'll talk about that. But that's, I'm very comfortable with this number at $6 million. The uh, members of the Finance Committee think I'm too low with that. Kevin probably thinks I'm a little too high. <laughs> so, uh, But I'm pretty comfortable with this, and I think this uh, stacks up. MLD, uh, $850,000 a year. Um, that has been steadily going up a little bit, probably not as much as I'd like, but um, that's what I'm holding right now. Available funds are some other funds that come in, um, cemetery trust funds and things like that. When rates were a little bit higher, uh, interest rates, that came in around 200000 a year, so it's a little bit lower now because of interest rates. We have been very, very lucky with new growth, with new development in town. This is probably a pretty consistent number. Last year it was higher than this. Uh, the year before it was a little bit higher. So again, I'm a little conservative. Um, so I think that I'm comfortable with all of these numbers. So when you add all that up, our total revenues are about $79 million. So now we start looking at where our budgets are and how does this all come into place. And our operating budgets that you know Kevin and I have gone, on, gone around this year with really some modest increases over last year, about uh, you know four <coughs> four percent or so. I think you're looking at fifty one thousand two hundred fifty one million thereabouts. Um, fixed costs are things like health care um, and some other items in our budget. That I I can see health care going up a little bit this year. In mm -hmm. fact, we're going to a uh, there was going to be a, a, a GIC seminar tomorrow, being two in turn changed to Friday afternoon. The GIC is having some issues because of some federal money that used to come in that's not coming in. So I can see our health <coughs> insurance cost as a community going up around 3% or, or so. Um, so we're, we're looking at that budget, and I think that we're going to be okay, but we are increasing it. 
Uh, capital, very important. I'm holding capital at the same. $2 million a year is a good number for capital. Our articles that we've done before, I think that are very, um, that are pretty normal. Uh, trash being the biggest one that we reduced last year. I don't see many more articles, but I'm keeping that as level for now, for forecast purposes. Debt service, that's probably the only other hard number there, $2.8 million. That's paying the bonds on public safety building, fields, doll bear, Woodville School, um, senior center, um, public safety building. And I do have some money, put money into stabilization fund. I like to budget for it to see, to see that we're just, just taking care of what we should be taking care of in the future. Uh, overlay account, keeping that the same as last year. That's if for abatements that we have that money available. <laughs> Uh, state and county assessments. The state is great. It gives you $8.4 million or $8.8 million. Then they take back a million four. Um, most of that is for the MBTA and or the charter schools. Um, cherry sheet offsets, which is um, money that is directed towards a library or the school lunch program. I'm keeping that the same as last year. Snow and ice overdraft, a big question mark. <laughs> Right. Maybe less of a question mark uh, as we go into this weekend, but I will tell you that having a big snowstorm for us is a lot better than a lot of little ones because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this may be right. subject to some FEMA money that right. would help uh, get that back. Right. So, you know, and the other thing about snow and ice is that, remember, years of budgeting, 273000 for snow and ice. In my opinion, it was crazy. Oh. It was just leading us into a big overdraft for the next fiscal year. We've moved that up to over 700000 now, so we're in much better shape. Uh, I think at least from a budget standpoint. So our total expenses are about $79 million as we go into today. We looked at a balanced budget and right now uh, we're about $25,000, um, I, I guess you'd say in the red. That's not a real concern right now, um, just because this is our, our initial go ahead at this. I'm feeling very, very comfortable. Uh, with those numbers. That's How balanced about? by everybody's math. Balanced by everybody's 25 math. 25 grand on 80 million, million dollars. is a balanced right. budget. We, we like to get it <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Good job. Absolutely. That's rounding errors this in is, three yeah. places. So just so everybody watching. Yeah. Right. right. Um, we, we've, we've been, <laughs> and we haven't used any free cash to balance it at this yeah. point. So right. that's, but this Good is, job. this, thank you. It's, Excellent. it's Kevin and I working together. But there are some uncertainties, mm -hmm. and uh, we talked about it. State aid is an uncertainty. Uh, we really don't know what's going to happen, although I am fairly comfortable it's going to be fairly even. It's not on the major line items, but I think there are some issues like special ed uh, funding on the circuit breaker and things like that that we could get less that will affect other budgets mm -hmm. down the road. Mm -hmm. um, but Charlie Baker has a great, um, he's a former selectman. He really ha he believes in local aid. He reaffirmed his belief in local aid at our, our meeting, and I hope that he delivers on that. He did deliver on more money for the roads. Uh, health insurance, we talked about that. Right now the GIC is looking at a 9% increase. I don't think that's going to happen, frankly. Um, but I'll know more as we come forward. We have been pretty conservative in that budget, so we have a little uh, room anyway. Um, school priorities, uh, you know, the school department does have some priorities that they will be pushing forward. That is a budget challenge for us as we work together as a community, and that's something that we'll be working with them and the Finance Committee on. Uh, local receipts, um, uh, <laughs> I think Kevin and I are, well, chicken on that FinCom, but I think being conservative is a, is a, good, is a good place to be. Um, snow and ice, again, who knows? We could, get a, we could get killed for the next two months, so that's always a wild card. But we're in better shape than we were before. And you know, we are gonna look at our reserve policy. Um, we know about 13% in reserves right now. Is that too much? Should we be doing something different with those reserves? That's something we have to have a discussion as a board with the, our board, the Finance Committee, and as a community. So real quick, I promised I would be very quick tonight on this, uh, given the weather. As you know, my door is always open. This is the first step in our kind of budget journey this year, but I'm pretty comfortable. I think Kevin's pretty comfortable where we are right now, and um, we'll be open for any questions on this as you go forward. Questions at the table? Shockingly, the, with the weather, there are no questions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks, looks good, Steve, um, as, as usual. And um, as you said, dipping our toe in this water here. I mean, you guys have done a lot of work to take that dip, but um, um, we're off to a good start. So. Thank you. All right. We're going to move on to uh, Mr. Gill. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, tonight we're going to go over 16 of 
what Steve and I consider the smaller budgets for pretty much town hall. Um, overall, uh, we're looking at these 16, about a 2.7% increase overall. Uh, with that, um, I'd like to thank the department heads for their hard work and their help in preparing these budgets. The first budget up tonight, the town treasurer's budget, uh, we're recommending this budget be increased $8,678. Personal services is being increased $6,000, which is due to contractual and negotiated increases. The expense portion is being increased $2,000. The tax title line item is being increased $3,000, and the bank charge line item is being reduced by $1,000. Mm -hmm. uh, John's done an excellent job controlling the costs with regards to bank charges. Major expenses within this budget, $13,000 for tax title, which is used for attorney's fees in land court costs, $7,500 for bank charges, which is the cost to maintain the town's bank accounts and the cost of checks. And with regards to tax title, the treasurer does collect on tax title. So far to date in fiscal 15, he's collected over $265,000. The total budget request for the treasurer's office, $184,341. Move to accept. Second. Thank you. Move by Betsy, second by Paul. Of approving the treasurer's budget. Aye. 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 Next. Can, I, can I also state that John does an excellent job in Years ago, particularly the bank charges were much more. And, uh, you know, when, what John has down is that, you know, Town of Wakefield puts money into banks. Mm -hmm. And it's nice money to have because it's going to be stable, it's going to be there for a while, it's not hot money. Right. And those fees come down, and yeah. uh, he does a great job negotiating. So. Great. Keep rolling. The next budget is the legal budget. We're recommending an increase of $2,937. This increase is all in personal services, and it's a negotiated salary increase. Major expenses within this budget, outside professional services, which is usually made, which is used mainly for labor attorneys mm -hmm. and other professional expert services. Uh, also, the books and publication line item, $6,200, used to maintain and upkeep the town's legal library. The total budget request is $171,000. $614. Move to accept. Second. Move by Betsy, second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. 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 You're on a roll. Uh, next budget, tax collector budget. Recommending an increase of $3,581. This breaks down the increase to the tax levy of $3,330 in a $251 increase to the water and sewer transfer. This increase is all in personal services and is due to contractual, contractual and negotiated increases. Main expenses within this budget, $5,200 for printing and binding, which is used to print the preliminary and actual tax bills. $5,000, which is for lockbox fees. And $29,283, which is used for postage. Uh, this department bails out approximately 60,000 pieces of mail a year. The total budget request is $230,935 with 191630 coming from the tax levy and 39305 coming from a water and sewer transfer. Move to accept. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Approved. Mr. Mr. Chairman, can I, can I jump in? Yes. Uh, what I should have mentioned on the on the town council's budget is that I, other department heads, are on the phone with Tom or meeting with him <laughs> daily and often yeah. multiple times a day. I think if we were to pay an outside mm -hmm. firm on an hourly basis, that budget would be triple, yeah. easily. E e easy. Now. Easy. And we wouldn't get the quality the service. of service that we get yeah. and mm -hmm. the quality of legal opinions that we get from Tom. And uh, I know that I rely on him carte blanche. And uh, we're, we're talking Saturday, Sundays on stuff. So <coughs> worth every penny, penny uh, yeah. that I would play our town council. And the tax collector has done a great job as well. Yeah, I can I concur. Uh, Council is always available yeah. and and uh, always does a great job and gives us great guidance. Right, mm -hmm. seems to always Absolutely. be right too. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Phyllis, I, I want to agree wholeheartedly with Steve about that because I know I'm one of the people 
when I need some help, when I really need to know the answer. Whenever I've called Tom, whether it be morning, afternoon, whatever it is, he's always been available. And I gotta tell you, he's been a tremendous amount of help to me. So great. He's great. You know, you're all just really emphasizing what a poor social life I have. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> that happens. No, that's great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, where were we? The next budget, budget number nine, the town clerk's budget, worked very closely with Rose Morgan, the temporary clerk, um, to complete this budget. We're requesting an increase of $20,954. The increase in personal services is $18,954, which is contractual and negotiated increase, and also substitute pay for the temporary town clerk to fill, fill in for the town clerk. Uh, under contractual services, the re repair and maintenance line item was increased $1,000, and the professional services line item was increased $1,000. Major expenses within this budget, repair and maintenance, which is used for the uh, office copy machine. Under the printing and binding line item, $8,100, which is used to print the town's bylaws, code books, and dog licenses. Total request for the town clerk's budget is $206,621. So moved to accept. So by Betsy, second by Paul, before I take a vote, because I probably should have done this in the others, any discussion? We could have discussed Mr. Mullen and his. But, all right. Uh, all in favor of approving the uh, town clerk budget? Aye. 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 All right, it's unanimous. Next budget, budget number 10, election and registration budget. Uh, this also falls under the town clerk. Uh, we're recommending an increase of $675. Uh, we have a couple of increases and decreases. We've decreased professional services $400, increased postage $900, decreased the street list line item $350, and increased office supplies $525. And these increases and decreases are based on current year expenditures. The main expenses under personal services, this is used for the census workers. Under contractual services, the professional services, uh, we use a company called LHS, which comes in and helps with the census mailing, the printing of the ballots, and the maintenance of the voting machines. The postage line item, $4,500, is used for absentee ballots. Total budget request is $37,000. So moved. Second. Second. Move by Betsy, second by Phyllis. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next budget is budget number 11, election expense. Uh, we're recommending this budget be decreased, $11,681. Uh, the reason for this uh, decrease, we have two elections in fiscal 16, and we had three budgeted for our fiscal 15. The estimated cost for one election is $16,333. Main expenses, the cost of the election workers, $16,866. The cost of advertising, five, and the Kara Booth line item, $6,600. So Total budget request is $32,666. So moved. Second. Moved by Phyllis, second by Betsy. Uh, all in favor of the aye, election aye. budget. Aye. Approved unanimously. Next budget, number budget number 12, Finance Committee. We recommend that this budget be decreased $2,800. This decrease is in personal services. The clerk position has been eliminated. Uh, the committee has taken on the responsibility to keep their own minutes. Main expenses within this budget, the cost to print the town's recommendation book for town meeting, and the dues and membership line item, which is used to pay half the town's cost for the MMA dues. Total budget request is $7,060. So moved. Second. Moved by Betsy, second by Paul, all in favor. Next budget, budget number 13, Conservation Commission. By the way, good job you know, cutting the Finance Committee budget. They really can't <laughs> complain, can they? No. <laughs> uh, Conservation Commission, we're recommending an increase of $203. The total tax levy of this, to, total tax levy portion of this budget is actually decreasing. 
$739. This is due to an increase in the available funds of wetland filing fees going from $2,058 to $3,000 in fiscal 16. The increase is all in personal services. This department consists of two people working 10 hours a week each. Main expenses, the travel expense line item, $1,000 used for training and seminars as needed, and office supplies of $1,000 for various supplies and software. The total budget request is $841, with $37,841 coming from tax levy, and $3,000 from available funds. So moved. Second. Moved by Paul, second by Betsy. Uh, all in favor of the CONCOM budget? Aye. 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 Great. Unanimous. Number 15. Budget number 15, Board of Appeals. We're recommending this budget be increased $7,900. This in increase is due to the clerk now getting a weekly pay stipend of $200 versus being paid $50 per hearing. We anticipate the receipts from this department will help cover any increase to this budget. Total revenue collected to date is $11,600. Collected last year was fourteen thousand five hundred. Total budget request is twenty one thousand two hundred dollars. So moved. Second. I have a question. On that did you um, just here? Did you double count the clerk's salary because you have it in the cost per hearing, but then you also have it as a two hundred bucks per week? Or no, it wasn't. You, it wasn't. Okay. No. All good. Moved and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Unanimous. Next budget is budget number 18, the fire alarm and traffic signal budget. We're recommending that this budget be increased $2,620. This increase is due to an increase in man hours needed due to the utility pole changes. There's been quite a few of those mm -hmm. going on throughout town. Uh, also, we've added pedestrian, pedestrian signals. Uh, we have some going up on Salem Street and also the new ones over by the Dolbea School. This budget is used to maintain the town's traffic signals at intersections, the municipal fire alarm circuits, and also the master boxes that we have at private businesses. We do charge for the master boxes at private businesses. Last year we collected a little over $34,000. Year to date, in fiscal 15, we've collected over $30,000. $30, the total budget request is $55,120. Can I get a motion to approve the budget? So moved. Moved by Paul. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, may I go on the record as abstaining from this particular budget? Yep. Thank you. Great. Next budget is budget number 20, building department. We recommend that this budget be increased $14,899. The increase in personal services is $12,949. These are contractual and negotiated increases. There's also a new line item for a part-time seasonal temporary help person. Uh, due to the increased activity in this department, uh, we felt this warranted. Uh, contractual services, we increased $600, $100 for printing and binding, and $500 for telephone. On the materials and supplies, we increased that $1,250, $300 for office supplies, $500 for oil and additives, and $450 for books and periodicals. Okay, can I get a motion? Oh, you're done. Uh, you didn't total it. Total budget request, $241,923. So moved. Moved second. by Betsy, second by Phyllis. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Again, Good uh, great job done by this department, and I think mm -hmm. that the Revenues that we that they bring in far exceed yeah. the, the the cost of the budget. And uh, Jack came up to my office today, and he's going to be very busy in Wakefield. But he's also been asked by FEMA, if needed, to actually go to some of the other communities if the storm is. Which is quite an honor it that is. our building inspector is recognized mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. I told him not to stay too long because I needed him here. But, <laughs> you know, still, it's quite an honor. <laughs> what would he do job. in that in that role? Just well, they'll they'll be like looking at structures. Just looking at structures to help inspect it. Mm -hmm. May I That's say one thing? I like the idea of having a seasonal worker. I think Gail does a fabulous job yeah. down there. But as the good weather comes in, it increases the efficiency. Yeah. Uh, we're charging these people all kinds of uh, uh, permit fees and everything. And I think 
to have somebody, I think that's wonderful mm -hmm. uh, because that's the name of the game and trying to get these uh, workmen and construction uh, people in and out yeah, and yeah. on their merry way. I think it's great. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make Wakefield a great place to do business. Absolutely. Right? Right. Um, and then one other, um, I, I forget the length of the term. Is it kind of forever on the uh, the money we get from that billboard that funds the sign? Oh, it's in perpetuity. Signage. It's yeah. in perpetuity, right? Yeah. So uh, he's uh, nearly 100%. Yeah, you know, like rounding and, error, and close to 100%. Try to move that funded. up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. got it. Funded. Why not? Great. Number 21, Town Sealer. We recommend that this budget be decreased $1,193. Uh, we had a retirement, and we were able to uh, reorganize this office. Uh, we contracted with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Division of Standards starting January 1st. They are coming in now and, and doing all the measurements for us for a flat fee of six, $6,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So the total budget request is $6,000. So moved. Second. Moved by Betsy, second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Great. Next 25. budget, budget number 25, Council on Aging. Uh, Judy Luciano does an excellent job with our seniors. We're recommending that this budget be increased $2,114. This increase is all in personal services, which is contractual and negotiated increases. Main expenses within this budget are the oil and ad of $800, which is for the gas for the senior van, and also for Mystic Valley Services, $6,275, which is for meals and wheels, meals on wheels in, in home care. Total budget request is $208,629. So moved. Second. By Phyllis. Phyllis. By Betsy, second by Paul. <laughs> oh, sorry, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Thanks. Again, Mr. Chairman, a yes, please. great uh, run department. Mm -hmm. um, and I tell you, Judy sensitizes me to a lot of issues that, that she has. She's always uh, looking at ways to improve services and save money. And usually this uh, department returns 30, 35,000 a year back to the general fund. So they do a great job of finding grants to cover stuff. Or, I know Phyllis is on the board there. Mm -hmm. they, they really provide a great service. But if things go as they, uh, as they are, we should blow away that um, gas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or let's go more places. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Uh, next budget, budget number 37, miscellaneous selectmen. We're recommending level funding. Main expenses within this budget, the training light item, $5,000. The cost to run town meetings, $2,000 for the janitors, $1,500 for the checkers, and the dues line item, $3,500, which is the second uh, half of the MMA dues. Total budget request is $19,125. So moved. Second. Moved by Betsy, seconded by Paul. Before I take a vote, I didn't see our salaries here in the budget. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, we're a volunteer. volunteer. So. All right, all but you are all miscellaneous. <laughs> we are. I did do Thank appreciate you ever the title. so much. Just miscellaneous. <laughs> to be reduced to that. I mean, really. Does everybody here uh, approve the uh, the miscellaneous uh, budget item for the selectmen? Aye. 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 <laughs> Aye. Unanimous. Go ahead. Next budget, budget number 41, the unemployment budget. Requesting is level funding. This budget is split $25,000 for the town, $50,000 for the schools. Total budget request, $75,000. So moved. Second. Moved by Paul, second by Betsy. All in favor on the unemployment budget? Aye. 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 Unanimous. I'm going to um, oh. recuse my. Uh, Almost unanimous. I have to uh, abstain from this one as All well, right. just so in case. With Betsy abstaining, we have a unanimous yes. vote mm -hmm. among those voting. Great. In the last budget last tonight, budget, budget number 42, the reserve fund requesting level funding. This budget is used for unforeseen or unbudgeted items. Total budget request is $300,000. So moved. Second. Moved by Betsy, second by Paul. All in favor for $300,000. Aye. 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 Great. Good job. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you and, Kevin. Uh, you know, so by the way, um, uh, respect for the hard work you do in pulling all that stuff together. Thank you for hustling through it tonight. Okay. Kind of, uh, you know, you get your moment in the sun, and we cut it short. So. <laughs> He's gonna be back. I know you are. I know. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be absent that night. <laughs> All right. 
Ready to, are you all set? All set. Good. Thank, all right, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Ken. All right. Let's move on. Next item is uh, the estoppel certificate for Powhat Parkway. We need to, uh, I'll entertain a motion to authorize the town administrator to execute that certificate. So moved. Second. Moved by Betsy, second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, next one is a request from the Dole Bear School staff. I'm just going to pull it up on my. You guys have the letter, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, um, can I get a motion to approve that? So moved. Second by Paul. Uh, any discussion before we vote? We're good? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. That's unanimous. Uh, request from John McCarthy, our town treasurer, to transfer $173,000 from uh, town capital projects account to the general account for uh, public safety interest of about $79,000, land acquisition interest of about $9,000, Galvin feasibility of uh, $5,500, and athletic fields interest of just under $80,000. Uh, can I get a motion to approve that? So moved. Second. Moved by Betsy, second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Uh, next is a request from Sherry Gilly, Sharon Gilly, uh, director of the library, to accept and expand gifts uh, to the library in the amount of $3,335 from various donors with thanks. So moved. Moved by Paul, seconded by second. Ann. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Uh, with that, we're awfully close to a close. Uh, then we have correspondence in our packet, you know, Wind Street Bridge. And uh, typically here, we um, we go around the table. I think we talked about maybe either doing it short or just a few important things. And I know, Steve, uh, you wanted to talk about uh, storm-related things. Yeah. Just and use very, this very as quick. an opportunity yeah. to communicate very, to the town. So, very quick. Council? I have one thing. Uh, you may recall that the town sold 36 Avon Street a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, making out the deed, we identified the buyer as the buyer wished to be identified, the buyer now has had uh, buyer's remorse about the way they phrased their name. Uh, and they're trying to resell the property, and it has created a title problem that they did not identify themselves as a New Hampshire limited liability company. Therefore, they have asked us to sign a confirmatory quick claim deed. I've looked it over carefully. The only respect in which it differs is it properly, properly, it identifies them in a way that makes it possible for them to resell. We did get our sign money. It. Happy yeah. to sign it. <laughs> so, do, we, do we get money again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'd like a, uh, a vote and uh, signatures of at least four members. All right. Can I get a motion to uh, authorize? Uh, oh, actually, to just uh, approve the so moved. Uh, second the amendment. Moved by Paul, seconded by Betsy. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. That's coming around. Let's make sure we sign it and get it back to Steve, right, or, or Tom? Yeah. Back to me. Tom. Yeah. Right back. Just sign it. Anything else, Tom? Nothing else. Good. Okay. Thank you. Steve, yep, very, let's talk. Very, Snow. very quickly regarding the, uh, the storm. You know, your, uh, uh, our, our town team, you know, really the main players, the fire chief, police chief, DV, DV, DPW director, building inspector, superintendent, uh, people on buildings and grounds have been, you know, kind of preparing and, and getting ready for, you know, the Super Bowl of storms right here. So, um, as you know, uh, the the governor has placed a travel ban from 12 a.m. tomorrow, uh, which will be lifted by county as he goes forward. So we really don't know when that's going to be. We in Wakefield uh, looked at this and looked at it, um, you know, what can we do to make our things much easier here? And we decided this morning uh, that we would have a uh, no parking on the public ways, uh, a parking ban on the public ways beginning at 10 p.m. Uh, maybe a foreshadowing of things to come about maybe just doing that on <laughs> on uh, emergencies instead of all the time. Um, but we posted that, um, not only posted that on our Newtown Facebook page, and we uh, that went to through, I know that Ian loves these numbers, 3,334 uh, people got that in a boost. And um, I checked it late this afternoon, and close to 900 had actually logged on it and read it. So there were, you know, a lot of people and that's growing mm -hmm. all the time. We also reached out via um, the reverse 911. Mm -hmm. I think those of you who got it will see that the message was a little different. Yes. It wasn't it, yes, code it was. red. It didn't say it the was, sky is this falling. This is a message right. from, <laughs> and I think that we, we took some excellent. of the, Carol did a nice the, job. Um, yep. uh, you know, complaints or <laughs> concerns of the, of the community. I think we did that a little different way. So that's gone out. People are getting texts and emails as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, we will have 70 pieces on the road plowing our streets. 
Um, we will have four ambulances in town, two BLS or basic life services and uh, two ALS or increased life services, I guess. Um, those will be on Del Carmine Street covering the town, so they will be here. Um, we have brought in outside tree and outside water crews in the event that we are actually expecting, uh, MLD is at this meeting too, we actually are expecting um, a lot of wind and a lot of branches and that's an issue. Um, we don't want to take all of our tree guys off the plowing, so we actually bring in an outside for, outside for an emergency. Um, both the fire and the plum, extra patrols. You know, public safety is number one and, and we're geared up for this. Um, so I, I would say to the community out there first, you know, be safe, stay home tomorrow, tonight. Um, there's no reason for you to be out tomorrow. If you do need something, your best bet is to call 911. Okay, that is the best way that we can, and that can get to anything that you need. There, were, there did did some um, emails and things went out, and we have it on the website. There's a number to call for um, uh, electrical outages and what have you. But if you don't remember any of those numbers, 911, and then the police can get you there much easily. Um, also, if you do run into a real problem where you do need to leave your home, okay, because of whatever, we do have. Um, negotiations and uh, uh, an agreement with the two hotels in town mm -hmm. and that we will come and help you so again call 911 uh, both hotels have a number of rooms quite a few actually um, if we need to do if we need to do that so that's kind of where we are I think we're in very good shape uh, Rick Stinson uh, has been through these things before he's certainly on top of it uh, you know we met at 8 this morning we met again at 2 30 um, so I am very confident in our team that we have out there. Um, please, if you are out, if you can clean the catch basins, that's a big, big help. Um, but again, just stay safe and check on your neighbors. And um, you know, the website will be updated as things change. And Steve, uh, you you guys obviously don't go this alone too. It's probably worth saying. Uh, follow the lead of the state and oh, yeah. NEMA. I yeah, mean, there, there's a lot of. There's a lot of data and inputs that mm -hmm. go into these decision making. Oh, yeah. you know. we're, we're on, MEMA has a number of uh, conference calls, and I think they have, you know, 350 people buzzing into these guys. They uh, said it was uh, well over 1,000 people on this afternoon. Right. Oh, was it all right. over 1,000? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so people with multiple communities coming in. Right. Uh, so that, and, you know, we're in as good shape as that we can be mm -hmm. um, for these uh, issues. Um, there is no school tomorrow, if anybody doesn't know that. Um, my sense is that you know Wednesday is another day we'll look at, mm -hmm. and uh, my sense is that that might be a day that uh, you know if the kids haven't finished their homework, don't worry too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in trouble, but I can do it. And uh, Steve, any um, any just to kind of set expectations regarding plowing? I know people uh, yeah. every storm people second guess how come the plow hasn't come by, and I know that you guys. Um, you didn't miss the snow. There's actually a plan based on right. the snowfalls right. and the accumulation for the most efficient right. way to... I'll, I'll tell you that yeah. we actually sent our plow guys home this afternoon to rest up. Right. And brought them that back in sense. around 5 sense. or 6 o'clock today. So they've been out. I think you see the main streets are not... You know, we drove here. This, the main streets weren't bad. Um, but they're going to be out during the night. It's hard to move this much snow. Mm -hmm. um, our plan is to, again, get the main roads clean then get to the secondary roads, sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Sidewalks are gonna take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've gotta do the schoolyards, we've gotta do what have you. Um, then we will probably do the square later this week. Mm -hmm. We're probably looking at, you know, Friday, Saturday. Like snow removal. Like snow removal that's from sure. the square. Right, you know, right. we, we know they, they remove from the corners and everything. Um, I will tell you that if it snows again, and there is some uh, later in the, in the week, that snow removal might be moved from the square a little right. bit later. But that's something that we committed to some years ago. So, again, we have 70 people out on the road or pieces out on the road. Um, you know, again, we hope that none of them break down, but that happens too. But, again, call 911 if you have any issues at all, and, and, and we'll get to you as quick as possible. So if, the bottom line is if you, if you look out your window and your um, quiet street is not plowed, it right. doesn't mean it doesn't mean we, we missed it. No, we missed it, no. <laughs> and you know what? You, you may get wakened up tonight by a snow plow. I am sorry, but that is, it is going to happen. <laughs> uh, particularly if you're around, you know, some of the areas where, you know, police and fire need to get out. Sure. We're gonna clean those areas a little bit quicker right. um, because you, public safety is number one. Right, mm -hmm. so. great. Hey, great, good Thank job on, on all of that. Thank you very much. Um, anybody have anything pressing around the table?
Phyllis, you look like you. I have a couple of things, but I'm not going to do them tonight. Okay. They're not uh, things that I need to bring here, but I really think we should try to go home with okay. all the snow. N at the next meeting, I'll bring them up. Beautiful. We'll be here. Very quickly, I'm just going to say I trust Steve and his team. They've prioritized. They're doing what's right in this town. I won't use the term common sense because that would mean that everyone has it. But I would say, <laughs> no, no, I'm very serious. <laughs> good sense. You know, good sense, it's being done in the way that it should be done because, you sure. know, we're going to get some gripes about it, but priorities, priorities. Uh, that's why we want to take the time. We've got a plan and right. a good one and based on data and experience. Right. And so, yeah. That's the thing. Make sure you charge, charge your cell phones right. and your computers tonight. Yeah. Uh, really, yeah. Very yeah. important yeah. because of, that, that is a mm -hmm. great way that you can communicate now. And mm -hmm. yeah. About everybody has them, so. Yeah. Oh, good. Just everybody stay safe. Okay. And? I would just ask people if you know you have elderly or folks that aren't, don't have others in their families to, to take a look out for them, um, maybe visit, because this storm sounds like it's going to be right. quite a storm. And just 10 seconds, we were at the Mass Municipal Association's meeting this weekend, and overwhelmingly Wakefield is, I would say, in better shape than most communities. And we learned that from talking to a lot of people, and I think a lot has to do with how Steve has managed the town, and, and just like talking about this, the I'm snow preparedness. We have to spend a little extra money to take, make sure we're doing it well. We have a plan, um, but we, I felt very good about Wakefield after talking Thank to you. folks. So, great. Good. Uh, the only thing I have is um, our uh, gratitude from everyone on the board to and WCAT for sticking around with us tonight. Right. Uh, just for, you know, there's us at the table. There's people on the other side of the camera and in the control room and so forth who've all uh, stayed here tonight. Uh, and they're looking to get home. So. With that, we're coming up on 44 minutes and 35 seconds. So let's Not get in under 30. the 45-minute mark. Does anybody <laughs> have we'll a motion? That's his move to adjourn. <laughs> Second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.